Hey everyone, my name is Tegan, welcome back to Tandy Writes. It is once again the time of the month where we unbox the Illumicrate box. This is I think the last Illumicrate one I'm going to do for the next few months because based off the emoji spoilers and everyone guessing what the books are, there's nothing I'm hugely interested in to make like a little investment in. So we're going to enjoy this while it lasts. So this is the February box. I think it's called like Caged Hearts or something. But this one's very exciting to me because out of the few Illumicrate boxes I've had so far, this is the first one where the book was already on my TBR and something I was excited about. So I knew I definitely had to get this. Okay, so Caged Hearts, February 2024. Well, the March theme is fantasy, which based off this image alone, I thought, you know, it looks very similar to The Girl Felt Beneath the Sea, which is the book I loved. And I think the fact that it was so reminiscent of a book that I already hadn't loved made me put off wanting to get another one. But I think, yeah, that I've looked at the book in detail and I think I'm still, you know, up for debate about it. And then the items we have inside, ooh! There's another case of like where they've already revealed the book and all the items on the website ahead of time and I once again do not remember. So I'm very excited about this. First up we have the House of Night drinking class inspired by the Serpent and the Wings of Night. Designed by Fez Inkwright. Pledge your allegiance to the House of Night with this drinking glass inspired by the serpent and the wings of night. Not heard of it, but always intrigued. And I think I've said this in every Illuminate box I've done so far, is that I'm very fond of the fact that they do books that I just haven't heard of, which is definitely my fault, rather than them choosing like, niche interests. Because it's like, wow, even more books to add to my TBR. I don't need more books. Ooh, it looks intact, which is a good first start. Let's see. What's... Oh, a straw fell out. Also, like, the little pack of silica gel, but we're going to ignore that. It's a rubber straw. It is bent. And drinking bar. I can't... Look, you see her? It's got serpents on it. And then, on the front, is that a scratch or just part of, like, the design? Let's investigate further. This is the ideal size drinking glass for me, and as someone who loves straws, because I find it makes you drink so much faster, and therefore I'm actually vaguely hydrated sometimes, I'm a fan of this. This is also, I think, purple. Let's hold it up to the light. I think it's purple. I can't tell. <laughs> I like this. I especially like this little straw. Let's pop you in. That's as light as ever. There. To see it in its full glory. I like this. And also I like it because it's something that I will probably actually use. Next we have this black pouch, which feels like Alton's, Alton, Alton's Trident Replica, designed by Stacey McEvoy Quant. Be as mighty as Alton from the Poppy Wall with our next collectible replica inspired by his trident. And I know one of the boxes that I have that I'm waiting to unbox has the Cool Prince replica sword in. So let's see if this is an equally cool replica. I was excited by it, but now that I have it in hand, what do I do with it? So I'll show you a little bit up close. They have like little fire designs on. I'm sure someone, I haven't read the Poppy Wall yet, so I'm sure someone will actually understand this reference and the trident and the character. And I, and I think it is cool. It feels like quite sturdy. It's metal. It feels quite white, um, well made. And again, I think it's cool items. And I love replica items, just as someone like who hoards merch and likes things from books. So this is very cool to someone, and when I read the Poppy War, I hope it will also be very cool to me as well. But I'm just like, what do I do with this now? It's going to live somewhere on my bookshelf. I'll work out where. Here we have the Fairy Tale Feast keyring, it tells me, designed by Marta Vale. Eat fairy tales for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with this keyring inspired by the Book Eaters. That book is on my TBR. Um, since it's come out, I've heard that like, the reviews drop. It's a thing that was like very much five stars when I first heard about it, and now it's like a three star or something. But I'm still very excited by it, and I can't wait to read it one day. And that's... Hello. I like it. I really like it. It's a key ring. It has a little bit of fairy tales with a bite taken out of. And I love the simplicity of it, because like this could feel like a fandom neutral item. This is just cute. It's... Oh, it's turned around. Oh, it's like coppery. Or bronzy. But yeah, this just this could apply to any fandom. Like it says inspired by the book eaters, but this it is a book being eaten. This could be anything, and I love this. What are you? Crow's foot pouch designed by Gretchen Kobo. Lichen and limestone, I know your name. Store your toiletries or reading supplies on the go in this transparent pouch with the artwork inspired by one dark window. Have not read but continue to hear like the most incredible things about it, so it will be going on my TBR. Let's 
open you up a little bit and get rid of this plastic. It's got a little tag that just says, whoop, a Luma Crate travel case made in China. I'm, I'm glad. And then, what is the shape of this thing? Okay, when you like puff it up and give it a bit of life, I think it's cute. What is the design on this? It's it's like brambles and thorns and like a kind of skeletal claw or something in there. I can't... we got to do the beauty guru thing. There. You can kind of see. Again, I don't understand the reference. I like that it's green. I think... You see the zip just doesn't want to cooperate. Can I make it look nice? Oh, the zip's like stuck now. So I think I'm gonna have to like fill it up with stuff for the zip to actually want to work. But it seems like I like the concept of it, maybe not necessarily the execution. And now it is book time. I'm very excited for this book. There she is. Based on what I can see for the bubble wrap, I think they just recolored the original cover, but we'll read what they've actually done on here first. Signed for Harback and features an exclusive cover from the publisher. I think every Illuminate box I've had so far is an exclusive cover from the publisher, and what they mean by that is just like a recolored or a very slightly different one. I don't know how I feel about this. End paper artwork, different front and back by Rinfish, full design on the case by Ross Dottir, digitally printed full edge by Chatty Nora, who appears in like every box I think, and the bonus content. Also, Illumicrate always has like the little photo challenge down here to like promote their boxes. 18th of March to unboxing, 19th of March, you got to show off the Trident and Red items. I don't know what Red items they're referring to, or just items in general. And 20th of March to Cage of God on display, so like no appreciation for the other items, just the Trident and something red. It is just a recoloured version of the original cover art as far as I can tell. Okay, ooh, back cover, can you, there's the shiny, what does this say? To cater cod is divine, to be divine is to rule, to rule is to destroy. Shiny on the side, shiny on the front, there, appreciate her. And then we have purple on the top and the bottom, and then I scratch myself. On the side we have like this like stained glass design, which I really love. I don't know yet how it relates to the contents of the book, but I love this, this is beautiful. Okay, so this is a book about sisters or twins whose mother grafted gods into their bones. They are now bound to these gods and are grown up to become living weapons. They are raised to overthrow an empire no matter the cost. The country's on the brink of war, so it's up to them to take the helm of the rebellion and ends the cruel reign of a royal family possessed by destructive gods. I'm very excited about this. So anyway, let's open her. Oh, I just got a, I got the glimpse of the colours together, and I was just like very overwhelmed with joy, love for a second. Open. Oh. So here I imagine it is one of the sisters taking over, killing the royal family. That's beautiful art, a beautiful art style. I would like that for my own book. And then I realise we haven't looked at the the hardcover case yet, but we're looking at what I see first. So we have blonde adult slash child there, and then on the back we have a small blonde child, which I guess is it the child in their youth, looking up at the castle, you know, seeing what they are due to become. Either way, it's beautiful, I love it, I love... Can I show you both at once? In a sense, there. Appreciate all the art in one go. And on the hardcover case we have... Beautiful again, I think? It has like the design of the palace, it's still got like kind of always stained glass window vibe. I think you can see it there. This is beautiful. I love this. I will t tentatively take back any slander I gave about the cover just being the original cover. Is this one signed by the author? It sure is. There we are. It also says bonus content in the little description thing. So what? I wish it would tell me what bonus content there is, because obviously I don't know what's in the original book, let alone what is bonus to this one. Like, please tell me. Oh, this one has like a pronunciation guide for the names in the back as well. It is three pages long, but there, we can glimpse it together. Okay, this book is dedicated to the Wurby Warriors and the Battle Scarred, marked by war but not broken. I think I'm going to have to Google, oh, I'm covered in hair, 
or just go digging online to try and work out what the bonus content is. Because like, if you tell me bonus content, please tell me like what it actually is. Not just that there is some, because I have no idea that there. We can appreciate this book one more time. She is quite pretty. I do like her actually. Okay, so box as a whole, I, mm, I think I like it. So I always want the items to have a cohesive theme throughout them. So here we have like a dragon, it's got dark vibes. That's going there for now. Here we have, does one dark window have dragons in it? It's got like a scary claw hand. So I'll say dragony green fits the colour scheme. This one, or serpents, again kind of fits the colour scheme. It's items that all look good together. Then you get to the trident, which as lovely as it is, is like a completely different colour scheme and vibe to the rest of the items. And also this key ring which I think is my favourite item, it's perfect, I love her. But this is like such an intense fairy tale colour scheme, like even the packaging of it, which to my knowledge the Death Eaters book does not have like a fairy tale vibe. But this one like stands out compared to what's going on here. I would really love a fully cohesive box one day that's not just like a special special like book anniversary edition, like the Scorpio Races box, the Shadow and Bone box, this one's like that, you know? So overall, I like this box a lot. I think pretty much every item in it, I'll get some kind of practical use out of it, and I do enjoy them visually, which is more than I can say about a lot of boxes. And this, this edge, stunning, stunning, love it. I think I will take back the cover slander now. So thank you so much for watching this video. I think I'm done with Illumicrate monthly boxings for a few months, except I did buy a couple of the old boxes as word count goal rewards, which I will be unboxing just so I fill the void a little bit. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.